And as I've noted, New South Wales is the gold standard. Uh, uh, thank you all for being here. I will uh, answer some questions that you may have. So it is, it's pretty exciting. We just, uh, we have plans that are not punitive to the, those, we don't resent anyone, their success or their achievement, but we do want everyone to pay their fair share. And in doing so, help build our economy better with women in the workplace. So that's pretty exciting for us. Yesterday, I had the privilege of welcoming two uh, heads of state, uh, Boris Johnson, maybe some of you were at that press uh, presentation with Boris Johnson, uh, Prime Minister Johnson, and then later in the day, in the morning, same morning, with Scott, Prime Minister Scott Morrison of Australia. Why I bring it up in association with climate is that they were so exuberant about the urgency of addressing the climate issues. Of course, we thanked the Prime Minister of UK for hosting COP26. I just had the privilege of doing that at 10 Downing when, over the weekend when I was uh, at the um, G7 Heads of Parliament and to see right, what was happening there in preparation for the COP26. But then he made a presentation to our bipartisan leadership of his priorities and strongly, strongly, strongly talking about what the UK was doing in terms of climate. And the, the Prime Minister of Australia, Morrison, he was, he was saying, we're not only uh, addressing the Paris Accords, we are, our, our slogan is, we meet it and we beat it. And so they're leading the way, and that's what we all have to do. No, I, I didn't ridicule those, that technology. That's good technology. It's not going to get you out to your fa favourite camping spot with your family. No, I, I didn't ridicule those, that technology. That's good technology. Bill Shorten wants to end the weekend when it comes to his policy on electric vehicles.